Hello everyone, welcome back with another episode of Twig Video. Today I would like to share you some new jailbreak tweaks for all of you guys. The tweak will add a new option on 3D type menu. So like on, for example, I press on the App Store. And you get a new option here, which is volume and brightness. So the tweak will allow you to set the custom volume and brightness for individual application. So like the brightness here. So I set to low and even a volume. So whenever you open up the App Store, the brightness will go down as you said before. And when you back out, the brightness will be back. So it is easy for you when you want to set the custom brightness and volume for individual application on your iPhone. And you can customize the tweak inside setting here. This one is a new tweak that let you clear the notification badge on the application on your iPhone. So you can swipe up on the application and you will see a bunch of options here. So you can clear badge or search badge or you can even copy the bundle ID. So this one is good for the team creator. Let's say I want to clear the notification badge on the App Store so I can swipe up on the application and then click on clear badges and now it is disappear you can change the function also so you can choose swipe down or swipe up on the application to clear the batch this is a new tweak for youtube application and it will ask whenever you do anything on youtube application like when you want to post or play the video it will ask you to click yes or no and if you want to do so you can click on yes and yes and now the video is working and when you want to pause the video, it also asks you the question. So like when I want to pause, and it will ask you the question to confirm that you want to play or to pause. And when you go to the next video, it also asks you if you want to go. So for me, I usually accidentally swipe without the purpose. So this tweak will confirm that you want to, to do it or not. And it is very good for the YouTube application. And you can go to settings. You can enable or disable some of the alert here. Thanks for watching. I hope you like these tweaks. And I will see you in the next one.